Coach? Yeah, I'm really, uh, really excited about the win. Um, I thought our, our team did, uh, did a nice job of making adjustments throughout the game. Obviously, um, gave up too many points, in my opinion, in the first quarter. Their game plan uh, was to try to pull us out. We were overhelping, um, had to make some adjustments, and I thought our team actually responded well to those adjustments. Um, took us took us another quarter to kind of uh, feel good about it, but I thought the third quarter, uh, we, we held their scoring down to five, and I think it's because we guarded better, guarded on the ball better, and I was proud of that. Um, you know, we're able to put points on the board in, in a lot of different ways, and, and that's a good sign. Take our first question from Maria. Coach, everyone knows Alexis Dyke can score, but she really let loose tonight, especially with that little elbow jumper. I think she had eight straight points to close that second quarter. How key was was Alexis tonight? Well, I think, you know, at a time where, um, especially early on, we were struggling a little bit, she was able to be the consistent player for us on the offense at the end. And, and let me tell you, she loves that jump shot. I mean, loves that jump shot. And when she gets lift, when she has good legs on her and gets lift, uh, she shoots a really good percentage. We've seen it in practice a lot, um, seen it in some drills. And here, last um, last day or two, noticed it. We, she and I actually talked about it. I said, you know, just get it, get it up, and it's going in. And um, you know, she's one that once she makes one, she she may she may make three and more, three more. Riley. Coach, offensively, uh, these last couple of games, you all have kind of found your groove a little bit. What's been kind of working uh, the best for you all offensively these last few games? Well, I think we've been in a little bit better rhythm offensively uh, with our shots. I think we've had pretty good balance. We get the ball inside, we drive, and we kick to some shooters now. Obviously, Tess and Sarah both making some threes makes a difference for our basketball team. Uh, we, we got a, a couple easy ones in transition, so that's good to see. Uh, you know, a high percentage shooting team typically gets easy shots, right? And so we, we've got to continue to find uh, find easy shots. We've been working really hard on our offense. We've put a lot of time into it. Uh, tonight in the first quarter, I was I was kicking myself for not working with more defense um, prior to the game. But we've been working hard on our offense to try to catch that up a little bit. Cora, uh, five three pointers tonight is the most you guys have made all, all season, and that's thanks to Tess Darby. I mean, how happy are you with her progression of confidence in shooting and, and really making an impact on offense now? Yeah, you know, Tess is doing what we felt like she could do for us. You know, we, we've seen it all the whole summer and fall uh, that, that she can really knock down, knock down shots. It, it makes things easier for everyone else when you've got someone out there that can stretch the defense. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy for our team because it makes our offense smoother and easier, but I'm also really happy for her, you know. And she's, um, she's doing what she needs to do for us, um, and, I'm, and I'm proud of her. Chloe well, improved offensively these last few games. What, what worries you? about this team offensively getting to where you want them to get to? What, what's the concern? What's the obstacle you offer for them? Um, you know, I still, think, I still think we can be better, more efficient. You know, obviously you pick up stat sheets, it's easy to pull out the turnovers. You know, we, we, we have to eliminate um, the turnovers for no reason, right? You know, just the hand it to the other team turnover. We've got to eliminate those. Um, you know, I still think we've got to, we, we may still have to manufacture some points somewhere. Maybe we've got to get to the free throw line a little bit more. Um, maybe need to try to find some more scores in transition. So it's, there's, there's still concerns there. I don't, I don't think after a couple games of, you know, a decent offense that, that we've arrived. So we will continue to work on it. We'll continue to add and tweak things as we go through the season as well. And, um, you know, still, still going to show some things to our team. About, about our offensive efficiency. Chloe and Tyler. Coach, congratulations on the win. Um, you opened up talking about how you were glad with the win, but still some things to work on, like you were just talking about. Um, do you feel like during these games and in the next few games leading up to teams like Stanford and conference play, do you think you're learning uh, good things about your team to be able to take on those teams? Yeah, you know, I think this 
this game was good because it's it's a different style. We have not played this style where we've had five people behind the three point line. And it's the first time this season, so that was that was um, really good for us now to, to have that to draw on. Um, you know, the the thing that I'm excited about right now, our team our team after the game very happy about the win, and they should be. Um, I don't even say disappointed. I think they wish they would have been better in some areas, especially in that first quarter. They felt like we gave up too many points, but they're not. They're not. Um, it's not taken away from the win. So I think they're in a really good space mentally to learn from everything that happens. To learn from um, uh, these wins, because a lot of teams, you get to a point, and, and really your next step, you got to lose. So you learn from that. Right, and, and hopefully our team will continue the path that we're on. We're we're really learning after every win, and that that's a good that's a good thing, a really good thing. And, and hopefully we can just keep building, just one step at a time, just a little bit better each day. And that that's how you progress as a basketball team. Tyler and Nicora. Coach, going back to Alexis Dye, you know her not only being able to knock down, down those jump shots, but also the experience that she has, having played in several different programs. You know, how much do you think she means to this team right now? Well, I think she gives us a great spark. Um, I think she's, uh, I think she's usually really good defensively, and um, she's been a, been really good on the boards, and she's uh, very aggressive offensively. And I think those things matter. I think. I think she complements some of our other players really well. Um, we, we can move her around a little bit, um, a little bit inside, a little bit outside. So I think she's a, she's a big part of what we're doing. She has pretty good poise, and I think her poise comes from that experience that you're talking about. Um, you know, she, she's been through a lot, she's seen a lot. Even though she's a first year Tennessee Lady Ball, she, she's a very experienced college basketball player. This is the fourth game that's marked here, score at least a double-double. What do you feel like that says about her consistency and the play that she is going to be for you guys this season? I'm so proud of her. I think she, I think consistency is the is the word for her. She's she's really showing a lot of maturity. She's showing a lot of confidence right now, and and those things are leading to that consistency. You know, she she wants the ball on the block. She feels good about. Um, what she can do with the basketball, she feels good about a board play. So, you know, I, I think that the one thing I'd said she was she was continuing to grow. She's got all the tools. She's continuing to grow mentally, and um, continuing to to be an experienced basketball player on the court. And I, I think we're seeing that. Um, it, it's just fun to watch. Coach, uh, you all get up, uh, five points in the third quarter. What adjustment did you make at halftime to fix um, your defensive play? Yeah, so so what we had to do, our, our guards, I thought, in the first half, we were relying on help too much. So we were over-helping and, and not getting deflections, and they were able to find open players. In the second half, we did a much better job guarding one-on-one, -on -one, taking away help um, <coughs> or the need for help. And I uh, thought that was the difference. Maria. Coach, I would ask you how Kaya Wynn was with the face shield, but based on the way she played, she seems to be fine. I also want to ask you about Virginia Tech. I know you haven't really had time to look at them yet, but what challenge that presents on Sunday. And then, and then sort of related, you were a student, I mean, a few years ago. You remember this time of year where you're trying to balance basketball, final exams, just how much have they got on their plate right now? Well, I think, um, first, I think Kai, Kai's doing a good job. She, she feels good. Um, unfortunately, she's going to wear a mask for a while. Um, in the finals of Virginia Tech. Yes. Virginia Tech first. All right, Virginia Tech, um, the challenge that they bring, they've got a, they got a pro post player. She's really good, um, tall, big, um, can score. And then they surround her with three-point shooters. So that is the challenge. They are, they're well coached and they can, they can really stroke it. So um, uh, without, without going into great detail right now, I, I do know those are two big challenges for us. Um, yeah, you know, this time, I think it's really important that we try to balance um, our, our players' time Right now, we're, we're 
going into finals, we're uh, pretty good. We're going to have to have some people grind it out because uh, we got a chance to have a pretty good GPA. And uh, so my challenge to them is to really buckle down and, and work hard in this next week. Oh yeah, but we play. So, uh, so what we're going to do um, tomorrow is an off day. They are thrilled about the off day. There's no travel on this off day. There's no practice. There's no class. The, some of them will have study sessions. Um, some of them will have some rehab. But it is a true off day. I think they've deserved it. Uh, they, they really earned this one. And um, hopefully it can help, help take off some stress academically and get their bodies recovered athletically. And then we'll get back out on the court on Friday for a practice travel on Saturday. Um, you know, we'll travel, make sure they get some study hall and the travel. Next week we'll have probably a couple days off during finals. A little bit more than normal during finals week, um, but but we try to kind of make sure that they have um, ample opportunity to study and take care of their coursework in that in that last um, in this last week. Yeah, yeah. Coach, just your thoughts on how Caroline Strickland played there at the end and this team's depth as a whole. Caroline gives us great energy when she comes in the game, and um, you know I thought offensively she did a she did a really good job of posting up, looking for the ball. She always wants the ball. She's one of the best post up players that we have on the team. Um, she's still learning to play it with the size that that um, sometimes our opponents give us tonight. She she was um, a little bit on the positive side uh, versus Tennessee Tech. Uh, just getting her some good experience I think is important to us. Uh, defensively, she's not had to guard perimeter players like she had two tonight, so that was a good challenge for her. So I was, I was proud of her. Um, she, she's a fighter and uh, comes in with positive energy every single day. She's, she's also one of the most determined kids I've ever coached. I said this in the fall, I will still say it. Um, she's one that's just going to figure out the, the problem at hand. She's going to work through something until she gets it right. So she, she's, she's going to be good. She's going to be really good for us. I want to go back to the three-point shooting a little bit. Um, still only five three-pointers. I know before the season that's something you wanted to really incorporate into the offense a little more. Is that still something you want to push to improve in the offense, or is it kind of just take them as they come? Well, I think we've got to take good threes. You know, we're we're probably not going to be um, a team that needs to take 25 threes a game. You know, it's just not going to be who we are. And that's okay. But we need to be able to knock some down for sure. So. Um, you know, we, we've got to be able to find good open threes in rhythm, and we have to take those. Uh, sometimes even taking them in rhythm, that gives you better opportunity to rebound your misses. So, you know, it, it would be nice to be able to, to put a few, mo few more on there, but I don't think it, I don't think that we want to overhaul what we're doing, um, taking away some twos for some of those threes. Thank you, Beth. All right, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you.